Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will create a personal access token in GitHub. The build job we will create, we use the personal access token to authenticate with our GitHub account. To create a personal access token in your GitHub account, select your profile up here. Then select settings. On the settings page, scroll down and select developer settings. Then click personal access tokens. Click generate new token. The first thing we are going to do is enter a note for the token. And this is just a name or a description that you want to give the token. I'll give the token a name. Once you've given the token a name, under expiration, you can specify the amount of days you want a user to use the token before it expires. I'm going to select this drop down, and for this tutorial, we can use 90 days. Then under select scope, we are going to select the permission we want to give this token. For this project, we are going to give this token repo permission. So select repo, then scroll down. And we are also going to give the token admin repo hook. Select this one. So those are the two permissions you need. Select admin repo hook and up here, select repo. Once you've select those two permissions, scroll all the way down and click generate token. And there you go. We have successfully generated the personal access token. What I want you to do is copy your personal access token and save it somewhere by clicking this box. The reason why I want you to copy it and save it somewhere is because once you close out of this page, you won't be able to see this personal access token anymore. And you can see that message here. It says, make sure to copy your personal access token now. You won't be able to see it again. So copy it by clicking this box and open a notepad on your computer, paste it in there and save it somewhere on your computer. Once you have opened notepad, paste the personal access token you copied in there. This is all we need to do in this lecture to create a personal access token. If you have any questions or there's any part of this lecture you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.